good afternoon traders. This is your free video update from Seasonal Swing Trader. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2019. Today we're taking a look at the euro currency as well as the US dollar. Yesterday, after the Fed minutes were released, we had a boost in the euro and a subsequent decline in the dollar. That's not to be of a surprise as the currencies move in inversely to each other. So when we see a rise in the euro, we see a decline in the US dollar and vice versa. We've been watching the euro currency for some time. It's been on our radar and our membership list. However, we wanted to stay on the cautious side due to all of the pending Brexit news, Fed statement release, and so forth. But now that the Fed is out of the way, we want to look at possibly establishing a position in either the euro, the dollar, or both. And this is a great market to trade because all types of traders can participate, whether you trade futures, stocks, ETFs, options, or Forex. The euro is a very liquid contract. And we'll look at a couple of examples here. So we've been watching the euro currency to post in a possible bottom, which we think we may have gotten here on March 6. We have since have broken up above our number two resistance level right here, triggering a long at 114.40. As of this recording, we're trading at 114.77, so up about 40 points since that initial break. Market's pulling back a little bit this morning, and it could potentially come back and retest the initial breakout area of around 1440. So if and when that does happen in that area of support holds, we'll likely take a position to get long the euro currency. If we take a look at the dollar index via the ETF, UUP. This is the bullish ETF for the U.S. dollar index. You can see we broke a intermediate term trend line yesterday. We're also trading, took out both the 50 and 100 day moving averages, and now we're trading under that old support level, which is now resistance. If we take a look at what these markets have done seasonally, you can see that we are potentially starting legs of new reliable seasonality pattern. So we're taking a look at the euro currency right now and where my mouse pointer is, this is right around mid to late March. So we're starting this next leg higher. We could see a pullback here according to the seasonality statistics and then we go all the way up into late April, early May before we kind of peak out in the euro currency. So that would that would align with our bullish stance on the euro currency. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it's going to be quite the inverse. So here we have on the five, the 15 and the 30 year price averages, right around this time, we start to look for a peak in prices for a decline into mid to late April going into May before we bottom out and look for new bullish seasonal patterns at that time frame. So as mentioned, we can establish short positions in the dollar via UUP by selling out of the money call spreads or buying puts or put spreads. If you want to play the euro currency, you can of course buy the June euro currency that trades on the CME exchange. There's also a very liquid ETF, which is FXE. You can see the price action reflected yesterday trading in a small range as of this morning. And then our currency traders can trade the very popular Euro, Euro USD cross pair, which is also triggered as well. So there's a couple of looks at the currency markets on a technical and seasonal perspective. Hope it helps. Good trading. We'll see you on the next update.